So in our last video, we showed you guys three of Barlow's seven new chameleon glitters, and today we're going to go over the other four. We're going to kick things off with electric blue. So for our first color, we're going to start with MF's dark watermelon. We're just going to pour quite a bit in, because for all of you that have used this pigment, you know that you can kind of add as much as you want, and it remains very translucent, which is what we want, because like I mentioned in the last video, we want the flake to really be the star of the show. All right, we're looking good right there. Now, for those of you that didn't see the first video, these flakes are temperature sensitive. So we're gonna treat this like our sparkle flake. We're gonna let the temperature drop down to about 320. We'll add two quarter teaspoons into our plastic. This is one cup. We'll stir it in and immediately inject. So like I mentioned, we're going to take our quarter teaspoon and we're going to go with two nice healthy scoops of our chameleon glitter. We'll get this all stirred in. I really like blue flake and watermelon pigments, so I wanted to see how well this one's going to turn out. And I'm liking what I see so far. Alright, so we're going to grab our mold, we'll get this injected, and then we'll check them out. We are cooled off and ready to take a look. We went back to the hog salad ghillie mold. I'll tell you more about why later on in the video. So first impressions of that electric blue is it looks incredible. Y'all know the deal. Let's take a closer look. So here's a look at that electric blue. And you can see all that blue to green color shift. Or the chameleon effect, whichever way you want to call it. It just looks incredible. Now, I went back to this mold because if you guys remember in the last video, I made some of these with green pumpkin and the motor oil flake. So it's springtime. A lot of fish are up shallow. Whether they're pre-spawn, spawning, post-spawn, whatever the case may be. This bait works incredibly well, and with this chameleon glitter, the way it, if you see how well that glitter reflects, when you're sight fishing, you can use more natural colors. You don't have to use the bright whites and chartreuses. You can stick with a natural color like this, and you're able to see the bait in the water because of how well this glitter reflects. I've caught a ton of fish already on those green pumpkin with the motor oil flake, so I'm really looking forward to trying these out as well. But fantastic springtime sight fishing and bed fishing bait is this little hog salad ghillie. Give it a shot. Now let's move on to color number two. So for color number two, we're going to check out this lava craw. And for this color, we're going to use MF's olive oil. This is another one of my favorite colors from MF. So we'll get some of that in there. Get it all stirred in. We're still pretty thin right there, so I'm going to add just a little bit more. I'm not counting drops today or doing recipes because, like I mentioned, the glitter is what we're really focusing on today. All right, I think we're good right there with our olive oil. Now, just like the last one, we're going to wait for the temperature of this plastic to drop down to 320 before we add our glitter. While we're waiting on that to cool off, here's a little look at our Lava Craw. As you guys know, I love the Lava Craw powder pigment, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how well this looks. Just like with everything else, two scoops of our quarter teaspoon. Now we're going to get all this stirred in, grab our mold. And get this stuff injected. We're ready to take a look at these. We went with the Angling AI Phantom Grub. I think that's what they call it anyway. Here is our first look at Lava Crop. Now let's move in a little closer. Here's a closer look at Lava Crop. 
I was a little concerned when I first added this to the plastic that being that it's a darker kind of brownish color that we would lose some of that red in the flake. But man, look at that. That red really comes through in person. That is a killer color. Like I mentioned, I love the Lava Craw powder pigment. So now having the flake to match is going to be awesome. I didn't want to add this flake to the Lava Craw pigment because I didn't want the pigment to take away from the flake. So that's why I'm trying to use just kind of neutral colors. But that looks awesome. So there's your Lava Craw. Now let's move on to some June Bug. Here's a quick little look at our June Bug Chameleon Glitter. And surprise, surprise, we're going to go with June Bug 201 from Lureworks. I'm going with this June Bug because if you guys saw my June Bug comparison video, this was one of them that was kind of middle of the road. It wasn't too much on the red side or the blue side. There's just kind of a neutral right down the middle color. So I wanted to go with this one. All right, we're looking pretty good right there. Now let's get our gl our glitter. Quarter teaspoon. Two big scoops. And you guys know the routine. Get it all stirred in. Get it injected and check it out. Here we go. This is the baby brush hog mold from BTS. Here's our first look at Junebug. Looking really, really good. Let's move in closer. Here's our Junebug Chameleon Glitter. Now this one's a little bit harder to see compared to the other ones, the actual shiftiness. But as you can see right in here, you've got that purple to green chameleon effect. It looks really, really good. You can see it better in person on camera. It's just kind of hard to get some of that to come through. And part of that could be because we do have the June bug base color. So the purpley shift might not be it or might not be showing through quite as well. But it looks fantastic either way. So there you have your look at Junebug. Now we're going to move on to the last one, which is Sunburst. So here's a look at Sunburst. Now my first thought when I saw this was fishing out on the Delta. Colors like this work really well out there. And one of my favorite colors to use out there is MF Strawberry. Specifically this one, not the non-bleed version. We're going to add some of this in here. Some of these colors, this is a bleeding red, but the effects that you get from some of these bleeding colors just can't be duplicated in non-bleed versions. I do have some videos comparing those if you would like to check it out. All right. That's looking good. This color is also very translucent as well, so it's going to really show off that flake. We're going to let this cool down, and we'll get our flake added. Two quarter teaspoons as usual. Get it all mixed in. That's looking great. All right, we're ready to inject. Take a look at our sunburst. We made some four inch stick baits out of these. This is a bass tackle mold. And there you have sunburst. Here's a little closer look. 
So the flake in person, you can see the red to orange shift a little bit better. On camera, the red does get a little lost in that strawberry color, but it's still a really, really nice color. So I've been throwing these little four inch stick baits a lot and I make these without salt and I throw them on weighted wacky heads and I've been doing really, really good with those. But that looks awesome. I, this is what I was talking about with that strawberry color. You can see how translucent it is. You can see all the way through the bait. And this glitter, I don't know what it is about. All of these chameleon glitters in general, when they're in direct sunlight, the reflection that they put off is brighter than just about any other glitter that I've used. So again, if you are sight fishing, this works great for actually being able to see your bait. Super cool looking color. And now you guys have seen all seven of the chameleon glitters. And there you have it guys. There are the final four colors of the chameleon glitter from Barlow's. Out of the four we did today, my favorite, it's kind of a tie between the Lava Craw and the Electric Blue. Both of those colors look incredible. Now out of all seven of them, my favorite hands down is Motor Oil. That color looks amazing in person and I have already caught a ton of fish on those baits. So I really, really like that. I'd like to know what you guys thought was your favorite out of all seven. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which one you guys liked. And as the same as the last video, I will have these glitters linked down below. That will be my affiliate link through Barlow's. Uh, if you guys like something in this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.